Former Jacksonville Jaguars defensive player Sergio Brown is now in police custody, accused of killing his mother last month in Illinois, then fleeing to Mexico. Yesterday, Brown was captured when authorities say he re-entered the U.S. at the Mexican border. He's now being held without bond in San Diego, awaiting extradition back to Illinois. News for Jacks reporter Eric Ivanek joining us live to explain why Brown's criminal defense is going to be a tough road ahead. Eric? Well, Joy Brown was an NFL journeyman who played here at Everbank Stadium during the 2015 season before he was dropped by the Jaguar organization for underperforming on the field. Well, now he's on a new journey through the legal system fighting a first degree murder charge. When Sergio Brown played for the Jaguars, he wore number 38 on his jersey. Now he has a new number, 237-41597. That's his booking number inside the San Diego County Jail. Brown was booked as a fugitive from Illinois who was wanted in connection with the death of his mother, 73-year-old Myrtle Brown. Last month, her body was found inside a creek behind her home in Maywood, Illinois, a suburb just west of Chicago. The Cook County Medical Examiner determined she died from being assaulted. Maywood police identified her son as a suspect in her death, but say he had already fled to Mexico. Then on Tuesday, he was taken into custody when he re-entered the U.S. at the border in San Diego. Brown's arrest instantly became a national headline. Anytime you combine courts and sports, people find it interesting. Jacksonville criminal defense attorney John Phillips represents professional athletes and entertainers across the U.S. He does not represent Brown, but says Brown's case is unusual because he's a former professional athlete worth millions of dollars, collecting an NFL pension, and now accused of murdering his own mother. You don't see celebrities or, or former athletes accused of crimes like this. And when it does, you know, we all look, lean forward and kind of wonder what in the heck happened. Phillips says whoever is hired to represent Brown will have their hands full. How would you go about representing someone like this if he were to give you a phone call? You've just got to get client control, control over press, control over the media to try to, you know, preserve his, his constitutional rights while getting to the bottom of what happened. Brown has allegedly posted questionable comments on social media after fleeing the country. Whoever takes on this case as the lawyer is going to have a challenge because you already have a client who's said things he shouldn't have and done things he shouldn't have. Phillips has ties with the Jaguar organization, so hearing about a former player accused of murder is shocking. Do you ever really remember him? I don't remember him. Uh, it, it, it looks like he had a journeyman career, which which in the average NFL uh, career, it's three and a half years, he lasted. He, he did okay. But years after his NFL career ended, something went terribly wrong. And now Brown finds himself facing a legal challenge that could possibly send him to prison for life if convicted. Now, it's worth pointing out that right after Brown had left the country, there were speculations that he may have suffered from CTE following all those years of taking hits in the NFL. However, a CTE uh, diagnosis has not been confirmed. And even if it were to be medically confirmed, Attorney John Phillips says that a CTE diagnosis would not necessarily clear Brown of the charges. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.